Hey guys, William Frino here today with another LEGO Hero Factory Classic Review. This time we'll be taking a look at Rajah from the Summer 2011 3.0 Savage Planet Wave of Sets. Uh, so first, let's take a look at Rajah's box. We have Rajah on the front, obviously. Uh, his original name was Mammut, I believe, his prototype name. Change it to Rajah, good on their part. Um, and then you got Bulk versus Rajah and a little comic here. Um, so have to spend too much time on that and then as for the instructions you have an advert for next versus fangs nothing here you have the ad that we saw in uh, Waspix's instructions basically the same things uh, and then recon team so pretty basic hero factory instruction booklet with the basic adverts that you'd like to see now Raja is one of my favorite villains from the summer 2011 wave and it's because he is the first or he's the first set that I bought to have the four-legged uh, approach when it comes to Hero Factory. I understand that Corroder from 2010 uh, also used four legs uh, but this is the first mutt that we got. Four-legged, has a tail, uh, has huge jaws obviously. Um, I think the animalistic look in this one pops out more than any other set this wave. Um, because of the wonderful designs that went into this set. Uh, we have red bone pieces, which I believe we did also see in the fire villains, but they are always nice to come back, multicolored bones. We got dark gray bone pieces. Uh, we have a, a large range of articulation. I think the, the articulation works out perfectly. Uh, there's not too much, not too little. Uh, of course, we also have wonderful amounts of articulation in the head here. We have the neck. We have the, uh, yeah, it's basically, there's a couple points in the neck. So you can have it like this, you can have it down like that. Um, and then the jaw itself can move. And this is just a wonderful design choice right here that they decided to use where it kind of goes through here into this bone, which is a uh, double-sided socket bone, uh, which is, was not new actually, but another nice part to have. We have this new printed armor piece. We have this new in red, uh, kind of a shell, kind of a drooping shell looking piece with pin connectors on it. Obviously we have two of these black, or three of these black um, spine, spinal pieces. We have some of these new paws in red, some really nice new parts here uh, that got overused over the years, but still. We have these Exoforce uh, arms, which are not new, but still cool to see. And then obviously we have the mask here, which this is uh, just a really good, it reminds me of a woolly mammoth type look. Um, and I think they pulled that off really well. The, if the whole head construction to me fits really well with this character, um, and I think just the bestial look of this character, like we have the short, um, skin, skimpy looking back legs that just kind of hold him up, and these big, big bashing arms, just really intimidating looking arms. Um, and then another really good thing that turned out as they designed the mask is that the shell, the ends of the shell in there actually look like their eyes, which is really, really cool. Really, really uh, cool that they were able to do that. We have this new Quasa Spike piece here, red going into black. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a decent piece. I don't, I don't really see much use for it. And then we have um, these Ben 10 feet, I believe they were in Ben 10, the large figures back in red. Um, so you get a lot, a lot of nice red parts on this set. You also get these new Talon pieces uh, that are used as jaws in this, in this case, obviously. Uh, that really look intimidating, really big, really they really stick out. Uh, they really just look nice. Now I've said a lot of good things about this set. Now I'll say a, bit, a, a couple of the things that I don't like as much. I do believe the back legs are a little too skimpy. Um, I believe that this ball joint here could have gotten covered up by something, though I do appreciate them covering these two up because they didn't have to do that. Um, the articulation in the arms is a little funky because it's constructed like this. Now I do realize you could just turn it and then move the armor up and then you could get more elbow looking articulation. But then again it is nice to have this sort of arching articulation that it has right here where it can do that um, rather than just move out forward. But that those are just like little nitpicky things. There's not a whole lot wrong with this set. I'd say that the tail on the back is a little weird too. And the instructions, this is how they tell you to construct it though I would kind of put it like that and uh, it doesn't have a lot of armor coverage and it's kind of just a wimpy looking tail but eh, I mean it's whatever and then you also have this uncovered socket back here and 
I mean, one more nitpicky thing I think is the silver and gunmetal are distributed a little awkwardly, but because um, you have the silver chest plate up here, torso armor, and then you have gunmetal parts on him uh, near his arms. But those are just little nitpicky things. Truthfully, I do believe that this set is one of the more solid characters. Now, you don't get as many bone pieces. If you're in it for the parts, there's not as many parts, like bones and shells in here, than there was on Waspix over there. Um, but there is a good amount of red. So if you're into red, you'll like this set. Um, because it, it comes with a decent amount of, of red parts. In the story, Raja was just a mindlessly controlled animal by Witch Doctor, um, which I said in my other review is kind of a trend that Hero Factory starts to use and it kind of becomes bland. But for the time that this came out, this was a really a cool thing. Um, obviously a generic kind of idea, but they, they represented it really well because, again, Raja and all of the villains in this wave stand out from one another, and I think Raja does a really great job of, of being a little bit different. Now, unfortunately, Fangs is also a four-legged character um, who does do some different design, who has different design choices, but if I had to choose one, I'd choose Raja just because Raja has a very solid build, a very solid and consistent look to him. Um, there's a few awkward things about him, uh, especially his voice actor in the TV show. That was a little weird. Didn't really understand why they needed to give him a voice. Um, but it's a very solid set. Very decently sized. I think I believe it was like 12 bucks at the time that it came out. So a decently priced set as well, I would say, for the amount of parts that you get and the parts that you do get. Um, so yeah, I think Raw Draw is a very solid set coming in at a 9 out of 10. And I talked so highly about this, you might be wondering why it's not a a 10, but it's it's like one of those eh, sets, like it's really solid and good looking, but it's not like it doesn't it doesn't take your eye off of anything else. Like it's kind of a bland set in some aspects. So it's a 9 out of 10. Very solid set, very good looking set, um, and I would recommend it for people who are going back and trying to collect some CCBS sets for parts, because this has some nice parts on it. Uh, so that is it for this review. Next time we'll be taking a look at Fangs. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later.